we like to have a tidy um, understanding of what is right and what is wrong and very often in our world that isn't possible and <clears throat> I'd like to take two ideas first of all there's the Gettier um, philosophical problem is that a cow in the field or is that the washing on the clothesline is that Daisy the cow or is it the washing well it could be both the cow could be in the field but you don't actually see her what you see is the washing and your eyesight is so bad, so you mistake the washing for the cow. The cow is actually elsewhere. The cow is still in the field. Blah, 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 blah. A Gettier problem. So both can be true. But there's also the whole issue of etymology. And etymology, I think, is fascinating because although you can say, OK, oh, there you are, that's, that's, that's the word I want to look at. OK, OK entered British English in about 1880 in a song by the great Vance uh, about going to the zoo. Two words entered British English at that time in that song. One was the word OK and the other one was zoo as a contraction of zoological gardens. So we know from 1880 that the word OK was part of the British language. The question is where did it come from? And the most likely explanation is it came from hip American. But why and how and where did it come from there? So, if you go back to Boston in 1839, uh, there, was, there, there, there was a very, a very um, clever way of using language in a very uh, in, in, casually, misspelling things to um, to draw attention to them. So NC was not enough, not enough. Um, KY, no use. Uh, and OK was oil correct, all correct. Now that th that's testified um, in a document from the Astors. So it was very much, it, it was like um, uh, what do you call it? The the, 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 the the Latin thing where you where you start putting putting letters back to front. Um, not cod Latin. I, I can't remember what it's called now. There's also the significance of the Martin Van Buren election. And he was unpopular in 1840. He wanted to link his election to where he came from, old Kinderhook. Uh, this produ uh, OK, that produced the OK Club, um, and that was ridiculed with the all catastrophe, out of cash, and so on. Certainly by the time the Telegraph came along, and Morse code, the Morse code for OK is very simple, uh, the uh, acronym OK became a standard acknowledgement of a message received. But you can go back even further. In 1790, there's a misprint, uh, I think also in the States, order received, but instead of O-R, it was written OK. And, 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 and that, would suggest, that would suggest that is the actual etymology. I have another etymology, which goes back to John Alfred uh, Huber's, um, who s tells a story about uh, fr from um, a book by George Demetrios when I was in Greece. And the word for um, all is right, everything is right, in Greek is olakala, as you would know from the, uh, Ruva, uh, from the Sakis Ruvas song, olakala. Um, and certainly by the beginning of the 19th century, because of the importance of Greek shipping, OK, Olakala, was standard. It, it, it also got a Byzantine origin, so you can take it back to the uh, 13th, 14th century, where there is a, an, an incantation for uh, an incantation against an infestation of fleas using the expression OK. Ola, kala, or okay, I think. Just okay. Oh. 
Um, is it possible, uh, can, can you say that one etymology is correct and the other is not? Now, there's a, there's a third etymology um, which I have heard um, which links the Greek etymological origin to 1880. Uh, to just before 1880, and that was in the building of the skyscrapers and um, in Chicago, not in Boston. So we've got an etymology from Boston, we've got an etymology from Greece, we've got an etymology now also from Chicago, and we know that the word was in the English music halls in 1880. So in Chicago, building the skyscrapers, Greek uh, migrant Greek workers were sitting on the uh, steel uh, beams, shouting at each other, uh, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. But they were doing it in Greek, and they were doing it with gestures. Okay! Um, and I like to think that it's the skyscraper story which gives us the origin of okay, rather than the posh Boston story, certainly rather than the uh, when I was a boy in Greece story, and uh, and certainly better than the unpopular American president story, but they could all be correct. Um, to go back to uh, the Astor's expression, oil correct. So, okay. Okay, the etymology of okay. You can't be so sure it's arrogant to say that this is the only truth. There are multiple truths, and uh, that's demonstrated beautifully by both the Gettier problem and by etymology.